shin squats. Why do I call them shin squats? Well, because this is where squats begin. Uh, most people do squats incorrectly. Most people do squats as knee bends, and then they complain about having sore knees. A squat focuses on actually a hip hinge and utilizing the glute muscles and the hip muscles to lower you down and bring you back up. I found that this position is a great way to really help isolate the glutes in the squat. So you're not relying on the quads, you're relying on the glutes and the hips where squats are founded and once you learn those basic skills of how to do a squat properly you'll never have knee issues again doing a squat and you can do squats fast and you can do squats powerfully which you're supposed to again it's a glute muscle it's a hip flexor exercise that's where uh, squats begin so it really is a focus on imagining the hip is doing all the work now, I use the Im imagery now, I used to use the imagery of, you know, strings lowering and lifting you down, which is still valid, but I've added the fact that there's now a rubber band, a big rubber band attached to your hips. So imagine you, there's a rubber band forward and it's going right around your hips, putting pressure on your hips, right? Wanting to snap you forward. Now there's ropes also tied to you and then they're pulling you back when you're gonna go back. So that's that focus pulling back through the hips and snapping forward through the hips. Now we come up and forward, that's, that's really the focus, but it's also the going back. And I found from this position, you can't use your quads. Your knees are stable. You're not gonna do anything moving your knees forward or back, they're there. Quads are passive, they're secondary muscles in this case. So I'm gonna first come up onto the toes. So now that we're on our toes, we can work from here. So again, imagine you're being snapped back forward through the hips. So we wanna snap those hips forward. Right now it's a small motion, right? Because we're taking it on our toes. And now somebody's gonna pull the string back and we're gonna sit back. Now that tension is still on the hip, wanting to pull us forward. So it is snap, right? It's a pelvic thrust. Right? Sometimes people refer to a squat as the, you know, the dirty squat or a sex squat because a sex exercise because that's what it is. It's a pelvic thrust, right? It's a pelvic thrust. It's not a push through the knees. It's not a push through the legs. It's a pelvic thrust. So hips forward up, snap it, right? So easy when the feet are up. It's a smaller motion. Great, snap it up. Now when we go back down onto the shin sit position. Now we have much more range of motion. So again, it's the power lifting through the hips, lifting, using the glutes, engaging those glute muscles, working that, snapping us up and forward. So it's boom, right? Snap it forward, snap. Boom, 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 boom. And when we get that motion, then when we get to a standing squat or a standing lunge, we know, we'll know how to really utilize the hips, you use the whole gluteus muscles for that exercise. Boom. So, we're not using our hands, keep practicing your hands, keep practicing your push-ups, practicing the shin sit and getting us into that shin squat. Boom, boom. Sound effects option. All right, keep practicing. We'll see you in the next video.